Hey guys and welcome back to another Unregional 4 tutorial. In today's video it's just a nice, quick and simple one of a basic quick turn system in Unreal Engine. So if I hit play I can show you what I'm going to make today. So if I were to press S and then Q really quickly you can see we did a quick turn around the circle. Same if I hold D and Q and A and Q and again in this system you have to do it quickly. So if I were to be constantly holding D and then press Q it doesn't work. You have to do it quickly and you can set this up to be either way you want so you can have it so you can just hold D and then press it or you can have it so you have to quickly do it instead if you want and again we do have this nice camera turn so we just have this nice quick turn system like so which you see in lots of different games again this is just a nice feature which we're going to make so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it so the first thing we need to do is we need to open up our character blueprint which for me is content third person VP blueprints third person character but for you this could be third first or whatever you've named it just open up your character blueprint and once we've done that, we're going to go to Edit, Project Settings, go down to Input, and we're going to create a new action mapping here. So I'm going to add an action mapping, naming this one Quick Turn, and I'm going to set this to be whatever key I want. Now again, for me, what I'm going to do is have it so you have to press W, A, S, or D, and then Q, or you could just have it so you press Q, or whatever button you want really, just you press a button and then it does it, or you could have it so you have to be moving and then press a button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set quick turn to have W, A, S and D because again I want it to be whenever we're moving which you can do in other ways but again I just want it to be if I've pressed W, A, S or D and then quickly another button. So once you've set that up I'm going to close this, right click, search for quick turn and get the action event there we just made. Out of this I'm going to hold down S, left click to get a sequence like so and then I'm going to create a new variable by hitting the plus variable over here and naming this one quick turn question mark like so leaving it as a boolean so it's going to be a true or false value off of then zero i'm going to set it to be true so tick it and then one i'm going to get a re-triggerable delay setting this to a value of 0 0.6 and then completed we're going to set quick turn to be true so ticked like so and what this does is it means that we have to press the button for example w a s or d very quickly for example within 0 0.6 seconds so we press this button and then we press another button in order to actually turn. So this here is determining direction, so let me press that here. So determine direction, and then we have to press any other button, which we're going to do Q, to actually then do the turn. So again, we have to do it within 0 0.6 seconds. So we press this button, and then another one. So you can increase this time here to be whatever you want, for example, one whole second. But again, for me, I'm just going to do 0 0.6, as that works the best for me. And again, this one here is to make sure that you have to press W, A, S, or D and then the button quickly instead of being able to hold down and do it at any point while moving. So if you just want to have it while you're moving at any point, you can then do a quick turn. Don't do this code here. Sorry if that was a bit of a lengthy explanation. Just want to go over what I was doing. Then underneath this, I'm going to right click and let's say get B keyboard event. So let's get the B keyboard event. Again, you can set this to be whatever you want. For example, Q or T or V. But I think B is going to work best for me as that's just a nice easy place for me to just move my thumb up to quickly press the button. And out of B, what we want to do is hold down B, left click to get a branch, connecting that into the pressed, and the condition is going to be quick turn. So again, we have to have pressed this button quickly enough in order to be able to actually quick turn. So if we press W, wait one second, and then press B, it's not going to quick turn because it's turned to false. So actually we do need to untick that so quick turn is set to false off of the retrigger delay there. So sorry about that. And then underneath this, I'm going to right click and get move forward, the axis value, and under that, get move right. And we're doing this to again be able to determine the direction we are moving in, which again, that's what this is doing. That's just allowing the player to actually choose where they're going, but this here is actually then taking the direction which the player wants to go in. So again, if they're moving forward or moving right, we're going to get the appropriate value from that. Drag out of get move forward and we're going to get a make vector, connecting that into x and move right into y. Z we don't want to do anything because that is obviously going to be up and down, we only want to move on the x and y, so rotating in a circle. And out of the make vector we're going to get your pitch from vector, which is a nice simple node which does as it sounds, it gets the your and the pitch from the vector. Above this we're going to right click and get the control rotation, which is going to get the control rotation of the player and we're going to come out of that with a combine rotators. With A being get control rotation and B we're going to make a new rotator. So we're going to right click 
split the structure pin, connecting in the yaw from the get your pitch vector, like so. So now we have a new rotation here, and again it's going on the yaw, because the Z in this case is spinning in a circle. With here, get move forward and move right, the Z is up and down, but here with a rotation, Z is in a circle. So I hope that isn't too confusing. And now what we want to do is we want to then reset the control rotation to be this new rotator. So we're going to right click and get the controller, like so, and out of get controller we're going to set control rotation, like so. Connecting that into true of the branch, and again the new rotation being that return value there, like so. Now this is going to work, it's going to actually rotate the player in a nice quick turn, however it's not going to be smooth for the camera. To make it smooth, what we can do is select the camera boom, and then we need to tick enable camera rotation lag, which is just going to simply lag the camera so it moves nice and smoothly. And now you can just leave that on by default, however if I hit play, you see when I move the camera it is already lagging, which I don't want to be on by default. So what I'm going to do is just set it by default to be zero, which now means it's not going to be lagging like so, it's just acting normally. And then after set control rotation, so when we are quick turning, I'm going to get the camera boom and I'm going to set the camera rotation lag speed like so, setting it to whatever value I want, which for me I'm just going to set it to let's say 10 as that's what it was by default. And then I'm going to get another re-triggerable delay to then reset this back to zero. So once we finish turning it's going to go to zero again so we no longer have the rotation lag on our camera. Now you can set this delay to whatever you like, but I'm going to set it to about 0.7 because I found for me that's roughly the good time for how long it's going to take to turn. You can obviously again customize this to get it working perfectly and better for you. So if we compile, save and hit play, this should be the code all done for us. So you can see if I were to press D and then B quickly enough, we are going to turn as you can see there. So if we press D then B, we're turning, same with A and S, and if I were to hold W and D or S and D, it does it perfectly like so as well. So I think that'll be it for this video, which we've done everything we want to do. We set up this nice simple quick turn system, again just a quick simple one, where we're simply just going to be rotating the player all the way backwards based on the direction they're travelling in. So if we're walking backwards, we're going to rotate to be forwards, same with A and D for left and right as well. So again, nice simple system which you find in many combat games or anything along those lines really. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, Make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.